So this is for all the moms and dads that are still struggling to decide if you're gonna send your kids back for this following school year or if they're gonna stay here with you. There is no one perfect or right answer for everybody because ultimately everybody's situation is different, right? I can tell you my share and then somebody else can say theirs. Somebody was saying a little while ago, like I was reading this comment, somebody was saying that everybody around them has you know so many opinions on what they should do and that's true everybody's gonna have an opinion every single person that you know is gonna have an opinion about this and you're gonna be judged no matter what you do if you keep them here with you you're gonna be judged because how dare you take you know those opportunities from them que no estás viendo como se batalla después y todo eso y si los mandas like if you send them they're also gonna be like you know what's wrong with you how can you just trust your kids even if it's your parents, like somebody's always gonna have something to say about what's going on with you, right? And I think that's just that's just people, period. So muchas veces tenemos que tomar las cosas, o sea, de quien vienen, y siempre tener esa convicción, like, no, this is what's right. And many times, even your kids will tell you, you know, my best, my very best advice is always going to be make the strongest connections that you can like really just work on connecting with your kids because you know i'm reading some people are like i don't see them but once a year and then other people are like i see them every weekend so whenever it is that you do get to see them even if it's like you know video time facetiming or whatever um just make sure that you're really there for them and that they know that that you're there you do matter in their lives i know it feels a little like maybe you know for those that don't see their kids on a daily right and even just thinking of sending them like a whole year out there hurts it does hurt it does it really does i'm like on the other end of it right my my son's older he's gonna you know you know continue like going to school and like college and all that like he's gonna continue on his journey right and then eventually work and everything but i can tell you that it's worth it because no batalla no se no está batallando nada me entiendes Y vas a batallar ahorita con ese desapego, pero después se va a ver, o sea, el sacrificio. Pero si lo dejas también aquí, por ejemplo, yo que tengo aquí, like, my youngest is here, right? And he's doing school here, and his English is not, you know, all that great. Like, it would be, you know, if, if we were out there, because in my house, like, here at the house, my husband speaks Spanish, and, you know, we mostly speak Spanish, and we've kind of just gotten used to it, you know, it's just to the Spanish so he like he'll speak it unless I make him like I have to tell him like hey no stop like tell me in English say it again or whatever he'll be like okay like but he hates it he doesn't like it and he doesn't even find it useful right so I've had to kind of learn to respect him on that and I've I've known of deportees that their kids you know they don't speak like the they don't speak the English language they just speak Spanish because like this one um, homie of mine that we kind of grew up together right he's he's younger i'm like an older sister to him right and he got deported early on too like me and he of course you know met his wife got married i think he's in either veracruz or puebla i don't remember but um he was able to you know start a family and his wife speaks nothing but spanish and his little girls they speak nothing but spanish and <laughs> you know sometimes i'm like it's hard like you would think that you know like they they understand all of it like he can understand like a full blown like he's but that's not his first language you know i feel like back then i used to worry so much about that like oh my god you know he's not gonna be fluent like my youngest right he's not gonna be fluent and even mark like both of them i used to worry about that but now i'm like shoot as long as they know how to communicate properly right and they use it when they need it and all else i mean honestly we're really just thinking about staying here so you know, he's gonna have enough language to, I mean, defenderse like in either one. As long as he's bilingual, I don't think it really just matters, right? O sea, yo pienso así. Entonces, no son las mismas experiencias para nuestros niños, no las son. Pero yo te diría que le pidas mucho a Dios que te guíe, que te, este, que te más o menos como que abra camino para ver dónde es que, que pues van a estar mejor, ¿verdad? Pero si tienes que shut all those voices out because nobody's ever gonna know what's best for your family but you and if you do make a mistake and you know because we are gonna make mistakes 
we're gonna make mistakes i've made mistakes throughout you know raising my son and everything throughout this whole process like him going and staying and you know again no matter what you do it's gonna it's gonna have some type of consequence no matter what you do if they stay or if they go just keep it tight with them and you know really be there no matter how far away it feels like they are because ultimately they only have like two parents in this whole world and you're one of them so let them know that you're that solid rock no matter where in the world like you don't think that matters man that matters a lot to our kids but they can come home you know to that love and that attention and that you know make it count for them i guess that's that's my point and that's to me it's beautiful that my son throughout all these years like he keeps coming back right and seeing me porque pues yo pienso que hay una grande bendición cuando tus hijos ya grandes todavía quieren estar contigo y todavía te buscan, o sea, eso es una grandísima bendición, pero pues hay que echarle ganas, no, no importa qué. Y le pido a Dios que pues este próximo ciclo escolar, que les dé sabiduría para saber qué hacer. A lo mejor es la primera vez que te vas a calar, like, aquí en el border, de que crossing on a daily and stuff like that. You know what, if you do have to cross on a daily, like, let's say, you know, your kids are, like, back and forth and everything. Or maybe they stay out there the whole week and then they just cross back on the weekends. I don't know. Some people do it differently. Um, find things that, you know, just ways that you can make it easier. You know, and I think us as moms or dads, you know, we can play a big role in that, you know, in helping them kind of just transition easier, right, into this new lifestyle. You know, just don't give up easy. I guess that's what I'm trying to say.